Hello, and welcome to the Small Initiative Network. You are watching The Fables of Galia, the correct way to start your weekend off. So thank you for being here nice and early before we kick off tonight's show. Let's go through our amazing brand partners, kicking it off with uh, Stax. Awesome. Uh, Swole only roll with Norse Foundry's amazing gemstone and metal dice. Also, all our featured music comes from the free library available on Apple Music and Spotify by the one and only Norse Foundry. Use the code SWOLE, S-W-O-L-E, to save 10% at NorseFoundry.com. <clears throat> yes. Betty. Hello. Um, we are also, well, we also, I don't know. Let me start that again. <sighs> <laughs> yes, and? We love Dogmite. The indomitable Dogmite. They supply all of our luxury tabletop accessories in solid and natural stained woods. Like you've never seen them before. Go to dogmite.com. And I lost my place. To see these true champions of creativity. You can use the code SWOLE to get 15% off of your purchase right now. You can check out some of their beautiful work over in Jay's window. There is a beautiful DM screen that was custom made with his face on it. And that lovely little rolling tray. That has with feet. feet. If you're into that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm done. Awesome. What have you got for us, Brent? All right, you guys, it is time to give a special thank you and shout out to our next sponsor of the evening. Say it with me, Griffin Co. Oh. Griffin Co. is awesome. All of our 3D printed and custom terrain stuff that you see on our shows is from Griffin Co. If you would like to get in on this awesome action, just go on over to griffinco.com and use the promo code SWOLE22 at checkout and receive 22% off of your entire order. Boom. And that leads us to Ashley. That's me. Hello. I'm gonna tell you about our fully custom player minis uh, that come from the awesome Hero Forge. Design yours today at heroforge.com. You nerds. Cool. Thank you. Uh, yes, other things, real, real quick. Um, subscriptions. Some people use them. We like receiving them. Uh, all of the money that goes uh, from the subs goes towards our production of our new things as well as upkeep of the current things. Um, so that's really cool. We got some new, new awesome stuff coming out very soon. Uh, as soon as I can find out a way to not sleep and then I can fit in that into the other like four hours of my day, then we'll draw good to go. Um, the answer. Is the answer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, yes. Uh, I don't condone oh. illicit drug use though. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can either, uh, sub regularly there's prime subs for everyone with a uh, amazon prime account you get one free subscription um to give out per month uh and so if you choose us then awesome thank you so much uh gifted subs also go towards it as well and uh they uh contribute towards our uh, giveaway goal our sub goal uh, which you'll see underneath me underneath the player card right there See it? Good. Okay. So uh, we're at 79 out of 85. As soon as we hit 85, we're going to unleash the giveaway, uh, which uh, right now is from our friends at Valhood Co., which is a, um, a a full line of their hair and beard oil, which are all scented uh, after the different D&D classes. And also they're throwing in one of their hand poured rogue sleuth candles, which is like coffee scented, uh, which is awesome. Thank you so much to Valahood Co. Uh, so you do have to be in the US and you do have to be here once we unleash the giveaway and then you can join in and then we'll call it. But you have to be here to claim it. Uh, or we move on. Uh, other things. 
if you are unable to subscribe, please follow us. Um, that goes a really long way towards everything that we're trying to do, uh, trying to share our stories with more and more people. So following really, really helps. Um, and it's free, and you get a character role on the screen. Um, done that, done that. Flex points. Everyone earns flex points. Um, well, everyone, the cool people who are here, like, watching. Um, if you go down to the uh, the chat points, um, the is that what they're regularly called? I just call them flex points now. I've forgotten what they're called on normal Twitch. Channel points? Channel points! <laughs> the channel points icon is a flexing arm. Thank you, Diane. Um, you can spend these channel points after you've earned them from watching um, and you can spend a thousand on each player per stream um, and whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa whoa thank you whoa. race onyx the, yes race onyx that's amazing thank you so much holy crap well Ooh. We hit the giveaway goal, so I'll continue <laughs> while, while Benny sets up the uh, sets up the giveaway, and we'll we'll let you know when it's running. Um, that completely threw me off. Flex points: spend a thousand per player per stream. Uh, when ten people gang up and spend on uh, uh, one player, they will get a flexing arm in their window, uh, which signifies that they have a flex point to use, uh, which basically is a shortcut to the rule of cool. They get to flex their abilities and bend the narrative. Some really cool clutch moments, uh, which we've had um, from, from these flex points. So it's your way of kind of influencing the game a little bit. So the easiest thing to do is get in the chat and start talking about who you think needs the flex point the most and just like bomb on that person. Uh, Ronin is always there, uh, letting everyone know where, where everyone is to getting a flex point. So thanks Ronin for being our counter. Um, uh, there's those and YouTube. We have a YouTube. Uh, you can go and subscribe there for freebies. Um, so that's really cool. And we're trying to hit a uh, 1,000 subscriber goal. So every subscription helps uh, because math. That's how math works, right? You just keep adding one until you get to your goal. Um, sorry, those subs completely messed my brain thoughts up. In a great way. Uh, What's that? In a great way. We, we love In a great Thank way, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. In a, in a huge way. Um, I think I think that's it. Did I miss anything? The giveaway is live. It, I've, I've got it set. The giveaway is live? Exclamation yeah. point giveaway in the chat. You got to be here when we call it. You got to be in the US. Um, so yes, enter the giveaway now. I dare you. I dare you. Um, <laughs> I think that's it. I spoke for a really long time, so hopefully I covered important things as well. Uh, let's go ahead and roll the trailer for the next episode of The Fables of Galia.
the thing the thing that I forgot to tell you <laughs> was that subscribers can also roll along with the cast by putting exclamation point roll in the chat and it'll roll a d20 for you. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Last time on the That feature's not working. Feature's not working tonight? <laughs> Sorry about that. Cool. So that last well, bit that you we can said... grab a D20 <laughs> and roll oh, along with the cast. I have one of those. Enter in the chat what number you got. We believe yeah. you. Last time on the Fables of Kali. <laughs> Great start, guys. Um... You guys had successfully made it back to uh, the resistance kind of hole up uh, in the city of Heliacal, uh, which has become overrun with a Knoll army, which uh, up to nefarious deeds involving large crystals and portals and such. Um, in order to find Fernando, uh, the sort of keeper of knowledge that's still working with the resistance. Uh, you have to traverse rooftops um, to get to uh, Thena, the elven um, smith's forge. Some successfully, some not quite so successfully, uh, but nevertheless, dispatching with um, what uh, came into your path. You did eventually make it to Athena's uh, forge, where um, you met the very tall and muscular, uh, formidable uh, image of Athena, uh, very beautiful elven woman, long red braid, and uh, very many, many uh, dwarven runes tattooed in circles around her arms. Um, she eventually uh, introduced you to Fernando, uh, who was hiding in a chest in her forge. Um, and you began to talk about your plans to potentially alert allies in the nearby city of Horvalda uh, to try and launch an all-out assault on the... Uh, Knoll settlers. And so, as you guys were planning, Fernando produced a an item that was owed back to uh, the Temple of the Flowing Sands. And so he gave it to uh, Rhapsody, who wrapped the collar around his neck and slowly closed two clasped hands, intertwining fingers, around his mouth and as those fingers tighten and lock in place that is where we are picking up so the rest of the day is yours what would you like to do uh, are you are you okay can you speak <laughs> I believe Rhapsody would try and say something, but find that he can't currently. What? Yeah, there's there's no sound coming from behind the mask. So you can kind of, you can see like in his eyes, little bits of emotion uh, and you can roll an insight check yeah. to I see know. what you can pick up and, and <clears throat> And let us know the sort of feelings that he has uh, through this moment, but you guys hear no sound breaking the barrier of the hands. I Would I get advantage on this insight check? I'd say yeah. No, that's a fair ask. 15. I rolled really low. What have you done to our friend? Me? I just gave him his item back. Is he well, right? what has it done? It has... Clasped. Sorry, what was that? Just one more time? <laughs> it has clasped. 
it's clasped. The hands have clasped. And what does that do? Yeah. Can he breathe? Oh, yes. I mean, probably. I've never worn it. Rose is gonna see and make sure that he's like still breathing, just like his chest is rising, or you know. Like... On your head, if you can still breathe. Blink, if you're okay. <laughs> One time. I only rolled a sixteen on insight. Fifteen and sixteen. Okay, so I, I think um, because it's only eyes, I think you would get like very base emotion from that rhapsody. What do they kind of get from it? Um. There's not, like, a sense of fear or anything like that. I would say it's more intrigue of exactly how this item works. Um, and he focuses a bit and looks at Rose. Can you hear me? Except you hear it in your mind and not verbally. Adeline, can you can you establish your link thing with him? I heard something. Did you hear him? No. And no. I look, I look back at Rhapsody. Are you speaking just directly to me? Yes, I, I believe so. Um, this item's very complex, but I, I sort of can communicate through minds. By the way, Rose is actually speaking aloud. She's not trying to communicate back through her mind. I figured. So you guys are just hearing one side of the conversation. But you're okay. You're not in any pain? Oh, no. No. Um, I, I'm fine. All things accounted for. Okay. Is this something that you can remove whenever you want? I am... Um, he kind of like redirects his path and shoots his mental energies out towards Kaya. Uh, yes, I, I believe I can. So the way it works is you can extend out to five at once. <laughs> Everyone counts. <laughs> six all... party uh, game, six person party, and we all count it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, Rhapsody uh, is going to try and establish that link and see if he can connect all the pieces, the tethers of mind links between the group. Yeah, so right now there's the three of you in this think tank, literally. Can, can I hear Rose inside of it as well? I'm, Rose, are you thinking anything? Oh, wait, we can hear each other's thoughts? Is that what you just said? I need to pay attention. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, I was thinking that. Can I hear, Rose, can you hear me? I, can I hear you? Yes. And, and I'll respond in my head this time. Ro Rosa, I'm, this is different than when I speak to you as my mind. I'm not doing that. This is just me thinking. Uh, yes. Kaya. It's similar to, I would say, Adeline's, because she at least allows a link back, or like a way to... Is, is that how it works, Adeline? Well, yes, it just opens up a channel that you can go back and forth between and it lasts for a certain time. Does this have a duration? Does this only last for... Or uh, how far can it go? Guess we will find this out together. 
So wait, can you hear all my thoughts? That's what I all was just time? thinking. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear Lasteros thoughts, it's it's just affirmations. Lasteros, you are the best. <laughs> Lasteros, you are the bestest man alive. Lasteros, you have this. <laughs> Whatever gets you going. <laughs> so, you, you guys wouldn't hear each other's thoughts. This is kind of like telepathy. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. So you have you have to outwardly send a message. Oh, okay, <clears throat> that, that's good because as soon as Kaya re realized that Roz is okay, he, he went back to his thoughts on Athena. I'm glad we can't hear that. <clears throat> Just. You know, he's never had a crush before. This is new to him. Uh, just so we're tracking, we're all standing here not saying anything. <laughs> just staring at each other, nodding. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Squinting and raising eyebrows. So, so you can't speak out loud when you're wearing this thing. Is that right? I believe so. The, uh, the hands prevent... Yes. Well, that's handy. <laughs> uh, well, it, they look um good. God, I should. I thought I was better at lying than this. <laughs> I think it looks really neat. I wonder if they have one that puts hands over your eyes. That allows you to see without seeing the way this allows him to speak without speaking so that maybe I could see in the dark. Maybe. I, I, I have these goggles <laughs> that allow you to see in the dark. We yeah, can... but you have to use them. If you go like this, <laughs> see if you can... <laughs> <laughs> And, and Kaya's, he's not able to, his anatomy doesn't allow him to <laughs> flip his elbow out and upside down like that. Arms. Arms. Elbows. Humanoid arms. What's going on <laughs> with your elbows? Dragon elbows, man. <laughs> that would have been really smart mm -hmm. for us to pick up from Mr. Darcy. I'm sure he had something like that for you to see in the dark. Or at least, like, do they make potions like that? I don't know, because I don't make potions. That's not something I would know a lot about. I mean, but that's his specialty, right? That would right? also be, like, a one-time use, and then you wouldn't be able to see again. So you would it's be better, better than never seeing. I have heard tell of a great magician, um, Sir Lazik, who can grant you the ability that lasts forever. And you don't need glasses. Yes, it's absolutely, it's crazy, but it's so scary the way that he does it. It's like... You have to really want it. Yeah. Is that why you haven't done it? She can see in the dark. Oh, I, well, yes. she was... Oh, I thought well, it was just so you could see without glasses. Oh. I feel like I don't quite look the same without them. I don't think people would even recognize me. That's probably true. I mean, we recognize you because you sleep without your glasses every night. And when... Do you spend a lot of time looking at me while I'm asleep? No, but it's not like we don't see you. I mean, we've been traveling together for months. Or at least weeks. Anyway. Why are you just shaking your head and looking at me like that? I, I'm processing all of this. <laughs> well, I think I think that everybody's used to seeing you without your glasses every once in a while. It's a very rare occasion. Every night. <laughs> Gaia, you don't see her every single night. Well, because no. it's dark at night and you can't <laughs> see in the dark. <laughs> 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 wow. And I realize that we don't always sleep in the same room, but, you know, on the road, we're kind of all around the same fire. Yes, that is true. 
So, this, this thing that you have, shall we test how far it can go if you can use this to send a message outside the bounds of the city? Is that what we're going to use it to help us? Or... Or... Could... And I'll look to Fernando, the name, yes? Yes, who has also just been stood there Furrowing his brow and nodding and looking around, the group. <laughs> pretending to Wait, be a part of this. That? Um, do you happen to know how this works? How far we can be away from each other and still hear thoughts? Um, from what we have written about it, it doesn't go very far. 30 feet? 60 feet? Across the city? When we tested it, it roughly cut out around the 120 foot mark. Ah, okay, oh, that's, pretty far. Yeah, that's pretty far. <laughs> Good to know. Give or take a few 5 foot squares. Got it. Well, that's good. We can silently communicate. With just you or with each other? I've already forgotten. With everyone. Everyone, yeah, everyone is. Oh, everyone cool. here is a group conversation like you were just having. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure that that was how that was happening. I was about to ask a dumb question. Where, where, did, where did you get... I, I mean, you may have already said, but I, I guess I'd forgotten if you did say, Fernando, how did you come across this? Well, there are many artifacts that have been lost from various places across Galia. Some of them end up with us. That's... That's really cool. Do you have any any more that... No, never mind. I mean, I couldn't afford anything, so... He didn't sell it to him. I know, but I don't want to ask for anything. That's just rude. Like, if you just say, hey, do you have something for me? I don't want to do that. I mean, if I find something that would be useful... That would be... In order for you to help the city... Right. That would be... Yeah, I mean... Useful. Yeah. I'd have to give it back. You Do you have... You know, the, I think what would really be... Useful in this situation... Is something that would allow... Adeline to fly. Maybe a broom or something. Why would a broom allow you to fly? I don't know. I heard that someone once used a broom to fly. It's preposterous. I, I thought so at the time, but I never would have felt that something that put a clasp over my brother's face would allow us to all communicate in our brains. Well, his temple hails. made it. I was at the temple too, and I never saw it. Well, you didn't make it. I know. It was probably long gone before I ever arrived. It. That's why you didn't see it. Right. It was long gone before I arrived. What the were flying, we talking about? Well, flying flying room would for... be useful uh, to be able to hold it for a duration longer than a minute if that's what we're talking about to get out of bounds but I just don't know how we'll come across such a thing uh, because right the plan was Rose and I, I I turn us invisible we fly up 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 uh, we, she sends a message out. We go uninvisible. She's flying us there, but we've got one minute before she loses her wings. And then I have to turn us invisible again, and we have to get back to the ground before we fall to our deaths or get caught and shot full of arrows. So that those are the stakes we're working with, just to bring us all back up to speed. Yes. So flying for longer than a minute... Mm -hmm might be useful if there is something uh, that could make that possible I wonder it, 
you know, I'm just thinking out loud. I want, so in, in case something happens, I want to make sure that when y'all are on your return back in, that we are prepared in case you're spotted to run a diversion or those of us who are still here, we, sh you know, be able to run a diversion or, or interference, you know, attacking those who see you to attack you kind of a thing until you get someplace safe. Oh, that's a good plan B, definitely. I mean, it, if things it, go sour, I want to be prepared for that either way. The attempt just, will probably cause the archer no lord to reveal himself. Good point. Scary point, but also potentially beneficial. Yes. Mm. But do you, he would probably have a large group of his best archers with him, I would think. Do we know, uh, Fernando, do you know where this archer is typically poised? Most of the time we see him when he's patrolling the wall. Mm -hmm. Stations himself around the gate and any exits for a long time, but he doesn't always stay there. So, that's more on the perimeter of the city, right? Yeah. And if, and if Adeline and Roz are flying straight up, you know, maybe they wouldn't ever come into sight of the perimeter wall. I mean, that's a... The city's rather large, so... It's a long way. But there are the, others. And the question is, you know, we'll be invisible, um, ideally, on the way up and on the way back down. It's just for the time that we are in communication that I, I can't sustain it. Um, not to cover casting. I suppose there's a chance if you get high enough that no one looks up that way? How high can we get before you lose your wings? Mm. Well, we have to get back as well. And But Roz doesn't I, lose his wings. I thought Rose was going because uh, she oh, can communicate the outside the city. That's right. It is confusing. This is the first time it's occurred to me that Rose and Roz mm. sound remarkably similar. Yes, yes. Um, we potentially, I can make it, I mean, pretty high if I'm moving about 30 feet every six seconds, I could probably get pretty far. I imagine if you really dashed, that too, you could get further within those six seconds. That's right. I forgot about while carrying that. me. Mm. Oh. And maybe half of that. <laughs> so we'll keep if it only, at 30 feet. If only, if only Adeline could fly. <sighs> yes, if only Adeline could fly. But where's the fun in that? This is more exciting. We have done some crazy things. I don't really feel like this is outside the realm of possibility for us. No, and I think um, for all of the logistics it feels safer than us trying to sneak outside the bounds of the city and and then back in if that seems to be where they're concentrating their patrol they don't expect people to i suppose rise up out of the center of it that's what i'm saying if you get high enough before you have to dip out of your invisibility maybe they don't see you it's a risk my only concern is we don't get high enough before I cast and nothing happens. Well? I guess you just have to get as high as you can. How long and... will it take you to send the message? I mean, I 
can send a message pretty quickly. You don't really have to wait for a response. Because if you can only fly for one minute, you would have to... If it took you, let's say, six seconds, that just popped in my head for some reason to send a message, then you would only be able to fly for 24 seconds up. Well, be specific in all this. Not to bring physics into it, but the trip down will likely be quicker than the trip up, especially if we have to fall maybe the last little bit. We don't want you to fall, though. Well, no, what but... if we put all of our spirits together and tie them together and stretch them out? G that would probably can, cause a lot of attention. If tension is what we need, yeah. Attention. <laughs> you know, the larger the risk, the greater the reward. That's what I. We're think. the army of fate. Let's let's do this. I think we know everything we're going to know in order to try this. Except, when do we tell them to come? Do we give them a day to prepare? Do we tell them to come through the portal? I mean, the, um... Yes, that is what we said. Come through the portal tomorrow night? Will we have... God, can we accomplish enough before then? Two days from now, can they amass enough of an army? I was just gonna ask them to come as soon as they can. But if Shouldn't we want to launch least, all be out of fault to catch them off guard, we kind of want to do it all at the same time. Yes. Well, maybe, maybe they could send... Win so that we can be targeted and having attention elsewhere. If maybe they... Well, we, there's no way we could communicate all this. Is if we, we suggested that they try to send through like a, like a small strike force through the portal and have their army reinforce after we've started our attacks. I mean, obviously they couldn't have their army here immediately. I think we tell them two days. Come in two days from now with full force. I'm worried that if they send through a small group, I, I think even if they know that we came through the portal, they might shut that off, knowing that that's where they're vulnerable. We don't want to bring more attention to it than we need. You think that the the Knoll people here would shut that off? Is that what you're saying? If they know that it's being used by people who are against them, I think we were lucky to slip out undetected, thanks in no small part to Antonio. Well. I, I think once they get their small strike force through the portal, it won't matter because we don't plan on using it again until the city is retaken, right? Well, how will the army come? Oh, I thought they would march and then attack. Well, they need to send, like, as much as they that's can. That's a long march. Yeah, I don't think yes. that that's the smartest way to do. I think the teleportation circle is going to be the quickest. Yeah, that march would take like a couple of weeks, wouldn't it? And we don't really have that time. No. Two days? Can we give it two days? Yes. I think that it's... we may have to. We'll if do everything we... we can to prepare, but... If we think that the teleportation circle is offline if we get me in there I can I don't you know, think we I don't think we want to risk you though Fernando you can fix it though well I operated it yes then we can get you in there <laughs> absolutely if needed I mean it wasn't just my job it was everyone's job like not like I'm a technician. But I know how to work it. Hmm. Very good to know. 
Is that something that you could teach Adeline or Lily? Teach? I think we can How get to... him there. I mean, if I was there, then yes. Oh, you couldn't teach them here so that they could do it there. It's a little more complex than that. What if you set up a new circle here? Oh, but they wouldn't know to come to this circle, would they? Never mind. Could you do that? Could you create a new teleportation here? If you could set up a new circle here, we could send someone through it to that side. No, that's right. It doesn't work like that, does it? Oh. Oh. These are a network of established circles. Right. To be safe, we give them two days. They come that night, and that night, Fernando, we make sure you're there in case of any. Uh, oh, I thought we were. I thought we were under the impression that it still worked right now, but that if they discovered it after the new group came through, that we would we need him to fix it. No, oh. we haven't checked on it we since we've come through, which. Uh, I, I don't think we were detected, but if we were, again, uh, they would want to cover up any sore spots in their defenses. So, two days from now, Fernando, we get you there to make sure that everything is in working order, and in order to greet our saviors, while we stage a distraction elsewhere, um, perhaps taking on one of these big baddies and so that when they breach we can flank them hit them from both sides from our side where they're concentrated and they won't suspect our allies coming from the teleportation circle when did you get so good at strategy huh when did you get so good at strategy (laughs) it's like chess very Adeline good. Is very intelligent. So. I know. I was just. She started translating all her intelligence into battle strategy, and I really like it. <laughs> I I think. I think being around you all is a. I don't know if it's a good or a bad influence, to be honest, but it is an influence nonetheless. <sighs> this is all a bit exciting, though. It's the largest game of chess I've ever played. So what are we going to do for the next two days? Well, first we have to make sure the message goes through. I think I we our can immediate then concern. weaken them where we can. Take out or... Um, I'm all for that. Yes. I think we strike without being found out, without creating too much of a fuss and create anticipation for a large attack that takes place elsewhere, the diversion for when the others come through. I like that, guerrilla tactics. So first let's send this message to make sure they're coming through because if they're not, well, we're back to zero. Okay. We wait for the cover of night. What time is it right now? To send the message. Oh. Yes. Well, I don't know why if we'll be invisible. Oh, that's true. I forgot already. All right. Do you have any I'd rather you... know now so we can spend the rest of the day of weakening their defenses, learning more about them if we can. Yes? Sure. I'm ready. All right. Oh, God. Okay, are we... We need to make our way to the roof. Are we going to do it from here? Or are we going to do it from somewhere else? Because we don't want to call attention to the forge if something happens. Well. We don't want to compromise Tina and Fernando right now. No, I, um, uh, it's not really the takeoff that I think will be the issue. It's the potential 
Decide. Right, right, and we want to we want to control that location because the rest of us have to be there securing the the point where you land. Is there a barn nearby? No. Why? I didn't know what you did with your animals in this area. Or any taller buildings that haven't been compromised? I mean, this is a ford. I imagine the smoke has to go up somewhere. Is there a giant opening in the roof? Uh, yes. Uh, Athena, could you create a ungodly amount of smoke for the next two minutes? Won't that draw more attention to the area? But it will cover us. They know that the forge is working. But if you're invisible, they'll see the disturbances in the smoke, right? And as you I don't fly through it? So. I don't think that's how it works. Okay. I don't really know. I mean, I just worry that if soot covers you... I don't think so. No. It would mess up your invisibility. Okay. I don't know how those things work either. That's why I was asking. Also, the forge is uh, somewhat of a religious artifact of mine, so I would prefer not to uh, do anything that isn't forging with it. Right. Um, well, if you have some, you know, hot metal to, you know, that steam is fine. Then you All have right. to go through the steam. Ah, uh, ouch. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Well, I, think I say we leave through this hole in the roof. And if things turn sour, please think of us and maybe consider creating some smoke to cover our fall. Is... I don't think this is the best place. I just don't want the. I don't want it compromised here. I think there probably has to be at least some place better. I don't think it really matters where we fall to, because they won't we'll see us take off. You could fall into any building. Okay. Yeah. But that's not what's going to happen. Yes, we're not going to fall. Correct. Now that I've said it, I have a terrible sinking feeling in my stomach. I don't. I think we should do this before we talk it to death. All right, go. I think what will be, will be. Because that's how fate works. I'm... When we... DM, when we came in to the Forge building, mm -hmm. we weren't... Like, there wasn't, like... Is there a way to go back out the way we came in and get up onto the roof without being seen? Do I, can I recall that from when we came in? Um, so you were uh, on the ground when you came in through the back, so there's no way to get on this roof, but you could get on the other roof that you were on. Okay. Like, kind of uh, backtrack back to the roof that you like descended back to the floor from. And not all, right. all of us should go. We don't like. What if we? What As if... right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that then, um, because it might take me a couple of minutes to get into position. So, hey, guys, I'm gonna go back to the roof we were on. And I'm going to lay low over there. I promise I won't start anything. Are um, you just going I, to have a good view? Or I don't, what is it that I, you're doing I want doing to keep an there? eye on you. I want to keep an eye on you. I know that you'll be invisible coming down, but if something happens, I want to be prepared. Because if something does happen, I'm sure you will become visible at some point and, you, and I'll know that you need help. Okay. So I'm, I'm headed back out right now. Uh, Losteroth hears in his head 
I can't believe I'm asking you this. But please mm. keep an eye on Kaya, stay with him, and keep him from doing anything reckless. Yes, I know the irony of what I'm asking. Can I hear her? No. Our, our bond with... I think she's using her... Okay. I didn't know if maybe his thing like was a catch-all. <laughs> I will. I will. But can you do me a favor? Oh, God. What Two is words. it? Two words. I'm sure it'll fit. When you send the message... Oh, sorry. I thought that was the favor, and I was like, <laughs> go on. Bring fire brandy. Yes. Small favor. Bring fire brandy. Fire brandy is one word. All right. I'll mention it to Rose. And, and I'll, I'll sneak out and kind of tail, tail Kaya. Literally or metaphorically? Hang on to his tail? Yes. <laughs> no. I mean, are, are you trying to be sneaky so that I don't know you're there? I mean, I wouldn't know why you would do that, but are, is that what you're trying to do? Uh, I'm not trying to be sneaky. Okay. No, no. I mean, I'm going to uh, be... Kaya, your, your idea is sound. I am going to follow. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I was just thinking about um, some things that I could potentially do to take care of us. And hey. I'm going to grab your hand. And... Okay, I, I just want to make sure I read this spell right real quick. <laughs> I'm a goldfish. Okay. I'm going to um, grab your hand and then touch the side of your face. And I'm going to say, there's nothing, nothing to be worried about. And as I do, I cast a death ward on you. And so if you drop to zero hit points, you will immediately be one hit point. And then my spell will end, but it lasts for eight hours. Oh, so, nice. so for the next eight hours, if you drop to zero, you are not at zero. You're at one. Sick. Good to know. And if things go... If we fall... And you feel a tug, follow it. Got it. Just, you'll know. Got it. I trust you. Let's... <sighs> um... <laughs> A piece. <laughs> <laughs> I, what do you think is Rose is like five foot <laughs> she's like this tiny little like the same like, okay uh, Adeline like clambers into her arms um alright are um, we outside yet oh no we're going through a hole in the roof nope no we, are, we can go through the hole in the roof or is it a chimney and that's going to be a difficult I would prefer you not go through my forge oh all right, I'll climb out. <laughs> we'll go outside safely okay. somewhere where we can take off. Do do Lost and I get into position without any issues? Uh, give me give me a perception check. Uh, so you guys are going outside. Are you heading to a rooftop? Yep. No, yeah. the, the the flyers. Oh. Okay. Oh, um. Yeah. Can we get easily on a rooftop? Yeah, that's a good point. We've had struggles with this before. I think I if we can just take off from the ground, I think that's going to bring less. If there's a you know secret I mean? alley where we can go invisible. And, wait, I have to cast. Okay, I'm, I will let my wings and then you're going to cast them. Yes, <laughs> order of operations is so important. I get one chance a day to do that. Look. 
Technically, the wings are not an attack, and they're not a spell. But that's true. It's just oh. something I can do. Then, it, before we even go outside, I'll, like, twin invisibility for the both of us. Okay. So invisibility starts. Door opens by itself. You guys head outside. Um, what were your perception rolls? 22. Lost? You're just not looking? I'm, I'm following. Oh, I'm, I'm actually just, I'm looking at, at Kaya. I'm, I've been trying to tail him. Okay. No, 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 that's fine. Uh, yeah, 22. Um, you managed to, like, remap your way in your head down the alleyways and things. Eventually, you do come to that uh, staircase that leads you up onto uh, the roof from the sort of the back of the building. Um, you get up there, uh, the short wall around the top. Again, you sort of take in everything around you. Um, you hear a lot of the shuffling and ambling of the undead in the, in the streets below and the occasional sort of snarling of uh, the occasional soldier knoll that uh, traverses the streets. Um, Right now, nothing seems to have a bead on you. All right. I'm going to lay low, like, and just kind of turn over on my side a little bit and use my glamour weave cloak to kind of weave in the color of the rooftop just to kind of help with. Okay. You know, kind of breaking up my my profile, mm -hmm. um, and kind of stay you know underneath the lip of the of the wall around the top, and then just kind of keep an eye up in the air above the forge. And when I get there next to to Kaya, I hand him my flask, and I go, Kaya, you need this. Why Why do I need that? What What is that? You little, seem a little bit wound up. Everything's gonna be all right. Just take a couple of swigs of this and you'll be fine. Trust me. All right. I take a healthy swig. I'm not gonna take two, but I'll take one healthy swig. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, like this good. deep, deep burn, but the sort of the, the smoky overtone kind of makes it very smooth on the way down. That's, that's good stuff and it's better than the last time you gave it to me yeah that's good all right <clears throat> i will take a couple of swings <clears throat> um yeah it's good all right so you guys are posting up and just kind of looking up yeah. <laughs> okay yep. um all right so what what's everyone else doing um being rhapsody and lily I will I'm also trying to figure out what's happening. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to send a message to the thought link and just say to everyone that we are in position, that Lost and I are in position and ready. I'll just stay with with Roz. Okay. And Roz, what are you doing? Um. I think I, it goes without saying, pun intended, that should anything happen, Roz is just going to fly up and rectify the situation, but <laughs> okay. he is going to like let it pan out for if they can conceal themselves back down. So where are you positioning yourself? Uh, how did we get into the forest? Are we just going through a side door oh, or okay. yeah. back door? Um, I probably would cautiously go like with Lily in like a place where we could see, but like not be in the way, like not on the roof or anything, but just so we're out in the open in an alleyway or something. Okay. Yeah. But not yeah. in the forge. Yeah. So like roughly where the, uh, the other two are taking off. Yes. <clears throat> okay, cool. Easy done. 
So that's pretty much down the steps and around the corner. You're there. Um, sweet. So, you two are taking flight, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So, we'll say, you know, uh, invisibility was cast, you walk down the stairs and just take straight off. At a speed that I've never even experienced before. Straight up. <laughs> well, it is at a speed you've experienced before. Because you're moving at half speed because you're carrying oh, someone. Right. <laughs> so it at the feels speed that I'm so used much to. harder this time. <laughs> Adeline just screaming in her, everyone hears in the mind like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so you take off. And so, okay, so it's so a math. <laughs> so I've done this a few how... times. I know how long I have with it. I know when it feels like it's going to wear off. So I'm innately going to go as far as I think I can at a halfway point and then try. Yeah, so roughly 30 seconds up and then you're going to cast it and then come back down. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so within that last like bit of movement, you can start casting it and then come back down. So you can get uh, 900 feet in the air. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> that's so high. Wait, no, that's I not think right. That's pretty high. <laughs> that's not right at all. So that's that was, like that really was half of the math, then added to the end. So, yes, you can get 150 feet up. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I did not divide by six per round. Okay, um, that was just 30 seconds straight. Wait, how high round. is it actually? 150. 150 feet. That's still really high. It's <laughs> still very high. Um, and as you take off, like soaring through the sky, straight up, um, this is a direction that you've never flown before, straight up, this all the way. Yeah, you can feel the skin sort of starting to pull. Um, Adeline, I imagine you're not looking down at all, just straight up. Um, just she's like head buried in yes. Rose's <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> Carrying on going second by second, higher and higher and higher towards the end, towards the peak of this. You guys feel their presence fade from your link. As you crest up on the height of, uh, on the peak of this flight up into the air, you have six seconds to cast your spell. Okay. I'm casting Sending to De David. Hi. I miss you. Hmm? Healy Cal, under attack. Send army by teleportation circle in two days' time. We plan to attack and need help. Undead Knolls Inagu. Fire baby. Five. It was exactly 25. Fire well done. Um, yes, so you managed to get all of that out as you start to, uh, as you poof back into uh, sight at the peak of your flight. What do you do? I am going to start. Are you done? I'm. I'm done. And I, I'm, I'm gonna pause for like two seconds to see if there's any kind of like, I feel like a response is coming. But that's just Rose being a child and wanting to hear David's voice. So just like a little pause. And you hear, oh my gosh, Rose, is that? And then it goes. Okay, and then I'm gonna dive. Invisibility. Okay. 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 So going back out of sight, you start to descend down towards the rooftop. And that's where we're gonna take 
Oh, a 10 minute break. Uh, <laughs> in the middle of this experiment, but you, you monster. started to get a response, so you know the message was sent. Yes. And it made it through. So, yes, uh, bear with us. We will be uh, right back. We do have a giveaway running. Oh, thanks, just to leave. Um, we do have a giveaway running right now for the Valorhood Co. Uh, hair and beard oil and hand poured candle uh, stuffs. So, um, yes, enter that exclamation point giveaway in the chat. We will be back in 10, so don't go anywhere. From the top, make it drop. Hey, we're back. Thanks for waiting for us. Uh, we got a giveaway that's running, guys. Did you know? Mm -hmm. Good. And you were paying attention. Um, yes, we have a giveaway running. Uh, exclamation point giveaway in the chat right now because we are about to... Well, it just got jiggled around. Um, we are about to uh, call the winner. So jump in right now if you want to be a part of it. Let's go. Ready? Because we're going to call it in right. three, two, one. Pixelated bunny. Pixelated bunny? She's, she, she's in Distal's place. Oh, I don't know if. And they're, yeah, they were. Who is live. They're live, so she's probably not here. <laughs> I am here. Hey, hey uh, did money. Okay. Are you here? No. I don't. I don't think so. All right. We can re-roll. Re-roll. And one, two, three. Oh. What? I didn't even sign in. What? Wait a so minute. Guys. Wait, how did that work? Hang on. Lost. Yeah, you're definitely marked out as <laughs> ineligible. Hey, we're going to was... call this in a second. Because <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Just hit the button again. Nope. Because for some reason, it changed everything. I have to change it back. Because I'm the ultimate hacksaw. <laughs> Did you even enter? I didn't enter. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It changed all the. Uh, I'm trying, guys. We'll see if this works. We're gonna roll it again. Sorry. All your voting machines. You want again? <laughs> no. I, all your, I, I literally. No. I literally. All no. your dice are belong to me. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Uh -huh. Um, I'm just gonna keep. No, see. Uh, it's no, <laughs> it's broken. Only the people who didn't enter. It's Guys, broken. stop it. We're not. They're not. The prize is the four subs. It's mine now. It's mine. Now. I know no takesy mine. backsies. <laughs> just kidding. I don't. I don't. Do it again. We do want it. I have to keep. This is so silly. We're wasting so much time. <laughs> okay, let's wasting see time. We're entertaining. This works, <laughs> guys. Thanks for. Oh, look at all these coming in. We're just gonna delay the PC deaths. Just, okay, so there's someone. Did that work? Bowden Italic. Yeah. They're named after. Oh, God, like Are you here? It. They're probably not gonna be here. Yeah, I, I. They just. They just messaged in the chat. Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. The email. Yeah, there he is. Ah, you didn't what? enter? He didn't... Well, you did. Why did you say that? Well, you want it anyways. <laughs> still got to... Are you, Are you in the U.S.? US? Are you in the U.S.? Golden Italic? If I'm saying that really weird, I'm sorry. I don't Badoni. Know. You are here. Are you in the U.S.? Are you in the U.S.? I'm sorry that you didn't answer. Would you like a prize? <laughs> would, you, would you like a prize anyway? Oh, don't, don't have it. Oh, neither do I. But I have <laughs> okay. on my hair. Use it in your hair. I use it in my hair. Yeah. It's, it's, they it's smell also amazing. And this candle. 
You good with that? <laughs> and plus, if you have tattoos, the butter's really nice on your tattoos. <laughs> yeah, there we go. thank you. <laughs> right, go, <move> on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with everything tonight. So, sorry. So, jump jump into our Discord and uh, message me, Swollen Initiative, uh, in there, and I will collect your, uh, you know, delivery stuff. Address, that's the one. And then I will get it sent to you. So, congrats. <laughs> I'm so stressed out now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good thing we have to go back into our Feels nice, calm game. Teaching. <laughs> wow. I don't think it's going to be calm for long. I don't know. <sighs> it's so chill. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening at all. It's all great. We're having tea. Kai is ready so, for something to happen. Last we left off, uh, you guys had uh, a couple uh, had headed to a rooftop to monitor the situation uh, where the invisible. Uh, Adeline and Rose took off into the skies uh, straight up as high as they could go in the 30 seconds that they had to get up. Um, casting Sending, the spell goes through, uh, receiving a partial response from a disgruntled um, David uh, before turning back around and heading back down. Um, you are now headed straight downwards is there a direction that you are aiming yourself um we're invisible again i just yeah. want to make sure yeah yep so when they became visible for that brief second did was i able to see them can you see 150 feet up into the sky what if it's the the day, uh, give, give me give me just give me a perception check. This is kind of trying to find where they would be. Right. Uh 23. 23. I would say that um as you're kind of scanning the sky where you hope to see them uh for that brief second, um you catch out of the corner of your eye. You're looking in slightly the wrong direction and move straight over uh, and see them starting to sort of turn down before disappearing again. <clears throat> Lost, I just saw them. You just saw They're them? on their way back down. Are they visible? N not anymore. I just briefly saw them. They're, they're on their way back down. They were, they were over there. So... If I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but but if they do hit the ground, will they still be visible? Invisible. That would be very unfortunate and difficult to deal with. Mm -mm. Right, because we'd take damage. Yeah, Lost doesn't know this. So. Oh, sorry, I thought you were asking. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You're role playing, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm role playing. <laughs> You're not there. It says it ends if they attack or cast a spell. It doesn't say anything about them taking damage. <laughs> but yeah, it it would probably mess ladder. up my concentration yeah, yeah, if I hit yeah, the ground. Got it. So that's... <laughs> yeah. I need a black light and invisible ink. Where are they at? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Lost. Um, hit the ground. Just, just blood? Just keep your eye out. All right, go on. Should we make a way? I, I, I don't know where they're going to come down. I mean, I think we just wait right here to see if anything happens. Do you want another drink? Yeah, I'll take another drink. Oh. <laughs> just, yeah. just, just one. I, I, you see, that <clears throat> Lost is slightly, he's trying to play it off, but he's slightly worried. See a little bead of sweat and this is like, everything will be fine. Yeah, let's have another drink. Okay. All right. All happening within like six seconds. Right? <laughs> They're like, <"Arr."> yes. <laughs> okay. So um, Rhapsody and Lily, if you guys are looking in that direction, I guess you guys just need to go like this. <laughs> you don't have an angle to hit. Um, 
So you guys can give me a perception check as well if you're looking. Twenty-six. Uh, Ten. Ooh. Average is out, I guess. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. Sun's real bright, Rhapsody. Like, like, oh, you've just been in the forge. It's dark in there. You come outside. It's bright. Yeah, it dazzles your eyes. Um, Lily, uh, with the sort of dark circles around your eyes just absorbs the light into it and so you're able to see straight through um amazing looking <laughs> looking straight up you watch as uh far off in the distance you see uh a sort of cluster of bodies but you recognize those uh ethereal spectral wings uh coated in gold of uh your sister as she into existence, and then as she starts to turn down, disappearing again. But they are directly above you. Uh, Rhapsody will wait a few seconds, and then over the party link. Are you two all right? Party link. <laughs> Have we come into the threshold of that again? Um, if he, if he leaves it a beat, then yes, because you would have peaked at 150 feet and then come back down within one round within the, uh, distance again. Then you hear, ah! <laughs> Just a bunch of wind, like a microphone. <laughs> She's making that sound with her mouth. Rose is like, stop! That was bad. (laughs) We're fine. Coming back. Uh, So you you guys would probably hear this as well. Um, I'm not doing triangular math. (laughs) You're within it, because I said so. Kaya, keeping that, what was it, 23 mm-hmm. you had? Reception? Yes. <clears throat> um, as you're taking a couple of swigs, um, you sort of start looking out towards the street instinctually because you hear <laughs> approaching, followed by a voice yelling through the street and it echoes through the buildings and comes up from the street towards you. I see you. Um, With a 23, maintaining that, you look over and you see the abomination. The large form of the knoll, torso, and upper body, which is distorted and attached to a giant hyena uh, for a body, um, as he stands there with this huge glaive, a different one than you had seen previously. With a 23, you see a light blue teal spark coming from his eyes. As you tip your head over and realize that he's not looking at you. He's looking over and up. He sees you. He sees you coming down. He sees you coming down. You have to divert. The abomination is waiting on you to hit. He can see you invisible. Lost, I think we're going to have to do something. I have no clue. Because you just did that mentally. I'm just chillaxing with my flask. (laughs) The abomination can see them coming down. Abomination, I, I turn around and I peek over the, the edge. The abomination's the... right over there. 
How did you not hear him come up? I'm I'm five five sips in. <laughs> okay. All right. It hasn't been one minute. Rods. <laughs> Lily. The abomination is over here and he can see them coming down. He can see them even though they're invisible. Do we know he can see them currently or he saw them when they he's, became visible? He's, he's watching them come down right now. He just said he could see them out loud. I heard him. He's right. But can he actively see him now or saw them when they became visible? Because I saw them too. Um, <clears throat> DM, I'm going to look over at him and see if it looks like he's actively watching them descend. Um, so you you peek over. Uh, I need I need a stealth check for this because he's kind of actively paying attention in your direction. Nineteen. Straight nineteen. Well, it's fourteen plus five. I rolled a nineteen on the die. As you poke your head over, you watch as his face darts straight down and meets your eyes. As he spins the glaive around. All right, he's on us now, Lost. It's time to get up. This is good, because he'll be on us and not on them. Yep, all right. But he already saw them, and he knows they're coming down. Let's just do Guys, we're going to have to take out the abomination now. I don't think we have a choice. And I'm going to jump over, and I'm going to try to jump on his head and attack. So as he's readied, Mm -hmm. you jump in. And we're gonna roll initiative. <laughs> not us, though. We're not. Woo! Uh, we did, will... I, did I just fail on my job of stopping Kaya? Yes. So <laughs> we will all we will all roll initiative into this, okay. and um, your turns, I guess, will be falling, and then you can do something as you get closer. Natural twenty Woo! for twenty-five. Whoa! That's twenty-five. Eighteen. <clears throat> I'm also eighteen. Uh, math. Um, what's your dex? Uh, lost. Oh, uh, fourteen. Oh, I would be before you. So Rose, then lost. I'm eighteens. Someone else say between 25 and we'll go 18. Nope. Okay. Um, 18 to 10. This is not how I usually do it. Uh, 14. 12. 14. 12. 12. Thank you. Terrible. Uh, just go 10 to 1. Five. Five. Oh, lost you already there. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's all of you. I was like, I thought I was missing one. Uh, uh, right, guys, one sec. <laughs> like, we weren't that close with everyone in <laughs> I barely know these people. <laughs> <laughs> These people is my sister, so we're going. To... Oh, fuck. You're, right. <laughs> You're welcome. Like, like the leader, Lost is. Lost is like Kai on the shoulder, and he goes, "All right, all right, Kaya. Here's what we're gonna do." And then Kaya just goes, and I'm like, "Yeah." 
<laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I just, um, so I say, oh, he sees me. It's time to go. Boom. I'll be right with you guys. Good. How many people is I'm he I'm really glad for? that there's this many people for you to roll initiative with. <laughs> yeah, feels good. Feels good, man. Feels like maybe this was maybe meant for maybe a higher level. <laughs> Isn't it a shame we didn't level up then? Maybe, but maybe our heroic feat of, you know, uh, engaging an army and uh, heroically delivering a message to your boyfriend will level us up. I, we haven't hit the ground yet, so. No. I guess you'll find out at your next long rest. Um, <laughs> all, all, all Kaya hears is in his mind is, bro, what are you doing? Bro, what are you doing? Bro, no. Uh, bro. All right. What? Bro. Jason. Oh, there's a map. Switch up the map. Cool. Hang on a second. Oh. Whoa. That floor texture. There it goes. Oh, dope. There's a treasure chest. Oh. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> Definitely not a mimic. Okay. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Lost. Now I did that wood texture on the roofs. Man, that's nice. I want to bite the floor tiles so bad, and I don't know why. <laughs> They look crazy. really like. <laughs> they look, they look like those. Uh, what do you call those? Uh, caramel, kind of. <gasps> yeah. Nutty. Oh, payday wise. <clears throat> like, yeah, but like when you make like the flat. I know what you're talking about. Brittle. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. my grandma makes some. Brittle. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> it's the peanut brittle floor. Delicious. Bad for your teeth, but delicious. Jay, the wood rooftops look nice. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, I made them it from looks like floor wood. Boards. From what? <laughs> the floor oh. tiles. The actual floor oh, tiles. sick. Sick. Smart. He just doesn't want to stand. You probably just kill him then. Oh, so no. did. Was this. Was the um, abomination like? Did he was he looking at me like eye to eye level, over the rooftop? Um, no, you have a drop. Okay. Like how far away from the rooftop edge would he have been? Maybe ten feet. Okay. We all drop these at once. I know. They're like, oh no. Good luck. Woo <laughs> boy. <laughs> Will note, previously stated that the streets were lined with undead. So, oh. um, great. It is the top of the round going into this. Kaya, you have the floor, my friend. So head towards it. I am going to, as soon as I saw that he saw me, I'm going to yell out or in the um, in the link. I'm gonna yell out in the link. It's gonna come across as like loud and urgent. Say he sees me. It's time to do this. And I'm going to take a step back and so that I get a little bit of a running start. And I'm going to jump and leap onto the top of him and come down with my rapier. For any, anywhere on his face with an attack. Sure. Um, yeah, give me give me an acrobatics check. Uh, 14 plus 8, 22. 22, yeah. You, you're able to leap off. You take one foot and your toes wrap around the edge of that wall 
and you use everything to push yourself off, drawing your rapier and heading down. Uh, you can make an attack roll, my friend. I would have rather had that 14, but uh, 11 plus 8, 19. The 19 hits. Oh, he is a large, meaty target. All right. Um... Let's roll the damage for that attack. Um, that's 10 points of piercing damage. And as I hit him there, I'm going to swing down behind him and, and uh, attack again with the same rapier um, into the back of the body of, you know, the knoll body that he's you know, I guess the, the sort of hyena. Yeah, the hyena body thing. Um, as I as I go down to the ground. Yeah. To give you a visual, <laughs> if you can imagine like a horrific knoll version of a centaur, that's what this is. Um. Nice. So that's only a fifteen. A fifteen. A fifteen does not hit. Okay. Um. Bonus action. I'm going to You know what? Bonus action. I'm going to use a key point uh, for patient defense. Okay. So yeah, you come down with the rapier. He doesn't expect you to just full on attack him head on. Uh, so you do catch him off guard and you're able to slash uh, across uh, his chest with the rapier as you go to fall uh, to the side and uh, attack his sort of uh, the softer parts of his underbelly. Uh, he sees you falling and quickly uh, spins the uh, the glaive in the air. Um, Lost, give me a perception check as he spins the glaive. Um, as he does that, you land and he knocks you back out of the way. You take the blow and slide back a little bit, readying yourself. I've got a 12. You got a 12? Yep. Okay. Um, is that your, is that your turn? Yes. Got it. DC wasn't particularly high for this one because it sounds extremely familiar as it glides through the air. You hear as he shifts the glaive through the air. This is the same sound that your armor gives off. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. 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 Don't oh. I don't get it. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, so uh, it is one of the dolls. Yeah, he's going to. Oh wait, you you came around this side, right? Is that about where you would have been? Because like you you ran around to the side. Yeah, I would have come down behind him and kind of been, I guess, behind him on the other side of him, between him and this other building. Like this? <clears throat> Here. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> okay. So, a knoll rushes up to meet you, one of the soldiers that uh, you had seen uh, with the abomination earlier. Uh, that is, he swings with the uh, the spike ball and chain. Uh, that... At disadvantage? Oh, yeah. So, well, it definitely doesn't then, because that's like oh, a okay. 14. Yeah, that doesn't hit. <clears throat> 
That is a natural 19. And a natural 19. Um, plus, so, yeah, 23 to hit on the second one. That hits. Right. Roll the one on the damage die. Great. Uh, so that's six points of um, piercing damage as uh, you land and get knocked back, uh, deflecting one blow, but leaving yourself open for the second one. The, the, the ball and chain is an odd weapon that you're not used to defending against. He manages to connect with you. Um, but that ends his turn. Uh, Rose, you are up in the sky. Yep. I assume I'm more than 30 feet away. Yes, currently, yes. And I will use my turn to maybe change our trajectory slightly to land on one of these rooftops. I'll say the one we're lost was or is, is. Okay. That's the plan. We're gonna land up. Okay. There. I mean, it's easy to do. You have wings, right. so you can you can move. Um, so you move another thirty feet through the air. So you are currently ninety feet, ninety feet away. In um, fact, wait a minute. That's a are you are you free falling or are you like flying both of you down? I'm doing that thing like you see in movies with things with wings like put their wings like back behind them and they nose dive and I'm just holding on okay. to Adeline so I'm trying will... to make as much speed as possible <laughs> if you're going to use the dash action in that case uh, which I assume you would be I will not give you the carry penalty because you are literally using gravity to assist you with uh, your way down so you move 60 feet so you're now 60 feet away, but that's your that's everything to get there. Okay. Uh, or bonus action. You have bonus action if you want to do something. Um, I don't think I have anything. Um, okay. I actually can do... Nope, that's a action. Back to you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, lost, you are up. All right, Lost, uh, right as Kaya leaps away, Lost kind of turns around, peeks over the edge of the wall, and just goes, oh, Kaya, after, after he sees all the undead surrounding everybody. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so I, I launch down into that space, I think, uh, southeast of Kaya. So right next to Kaya, but right, right in that... Um, no, the other way. The uh, other way? Behind Kaya, kind of. Like right here? A little bit closer? Next, so I'm next to Kaya? Is, is there a spot there? <laughs> there's one, yeah. There. There's one. Yeah, one yep, right, here, right, right there. there. Right there. Yeah. Okay, yep. I'll give it to you. Because I want to be next to Kaya next to Kaya. And then as I'm flying down through the air, uh, I'm going to uh, take as, two attacks. As, as, you, as you run past, because um, you can't jump that whole way there, that's across okay. the nine street, uh, <clears throat> we'll take uh, an attack of opportunity from this guy right here. Oh, oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot. I'm going to use the shadow bonus switch thing. Act. No, no, I have Misty Step, so I am going to, I'm going to Misty Step. I disappeared. The rest of the way. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> that didn't work as I thought. Real life movie level VFX here on the Swole Initiative <laughs> Network. Uh, maybe maybe the newer Marvel VFX. Uh, so yeah, so you jump down onto the street just before you're about to make a connection with the ground. You disappear in black smoke and reappear um right next I to kind of like reappear in the air above that spot and as i'm landing i attack twice okay who are you attacking zombie uh the abomination oh yeah yeah you got reached that's right yeah the spike chains just fly out like n nearly missing kaya on both sides it's like whoosh, 
He just, <laughs> he, he just feels the wind kind of. Oh, first one's a 20 to hit. That hits. And the second one is a 15. A 15 does not hit. Does not hit, okay. Ooh, 15 damage on the first one. 15. Yep. Nice. So yeah, shooting out one chain. Uh, Again, catching him off guard. He's not expecting sort of magic and an all-out offense uh, on him. So he's a little sort of startled that someone would rush at him. Um, The the chain shoots out and rakes across his shoulders, spraying blood out across um, the, the stone floor. As the chain comes back, he's ready again. It shoots out and he moves the glaive and catches it. The chain wraps around his glaive and he just like yanks on it back. You feel a pull, but you're able to pull it back to yourself. Got it. And then I'll take an action surge. Okay. And um, I'll take one end of my chain and just start spinning it like a shield. And I'm just uh, taking a total defense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, do, what does that mean? It's just it's just uh, total defense, meaning like I get uh, uh, they have disadvantage to hit me. I'm okay. Just going on defense, yeah. Um. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Um. Then. A zombie stops with its um, like dragging aimlessly and trains in and just starts rushing, his head kind of flopping to one side, limbs kind of splayed out behind it, almost like uh, Attack on Titan style, like creepy running towards you uh, as he runs and uh, just throws his limbs at you, Lost. So with, with disadvantage, right? The, uh, you muted. Lost. You muted. Lost. Oh no no! I was I was just chit chatting with somebody. Uh... <laughs> I was just saying, is it disadvantage? Yeah, disadvantage. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that misses. Uh, I rolled a nine. Um, oh, nice. So that misses. Uh, you kind of see it coming, and you're able to uh, move out of the way as it just kind of like telegraphs it with this um, like slam attack with its arms. Uh, that leaves us to Adeline. Okay. You are, you are hurtling through the sky. Uh, um, you said we're 60 feet away? You are 60 feet away and uh, you're not controlling movement right now because it's kind of forced movement. I think as soon as Adeline looks down, she like hears this commotion and looks down and goes into a panic in a way that the concentration on invisibility is gonna drop, but she's gonna reach her hand out from under her and you're gonna see the tentacle mark that wraps up around her arm kind of come off in like a phantom tendril. And I'm going to cast Hunger of Hadar in a 20 foot radius and try to hit all those zombies. Um, I think I can hit them all. Five, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, in a 20 foot radius. Um, and they will they don't take damage until the beginning and end of their turn, but um, the area is filled with inky black I think black we have allies in that. So guide me where you want this. I don't think so. I think I can avoid lost. If you go to like just to the corner where I can get that one next to lost without getting him. That's just zombies, isn't it? You can get this one, this one, and this one. And those I can't get that guy right next to lost by like shifting it a skosh. If you do, you're gonna get in lost. Uh, okay. Here as well. That's fine. Well, I suppose, hold on. 
Yeah, you can do it. Okay, cool. I will cast it there. Um, and yeah, the area is filled with unknown horrors. So you're welcome, zombie boys. Um, but they don't take damage till the beginning of their turn. Okay. Um, but no light can illuminate the area. So now you just see this like black, like whatever, and you hear like a cacophony of like <laughs> slurping noises. Is what just the soft whispers and slurping noises. I love yeah. this stuff. The slurping's my favorite part. So the the <laughs> I imagine that the noises are kind of like a blend of these whispers of some unknown dead language, but also the familiar sound of. Uh, Duchess yawning. The... Yeah. Um, as you guys see, four of the zombies just disappear in this uh, like circle of darkness. Um, hashtag band name. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you have a bonus action. Um, screaming. Got it. That's a free action. Uh, um. <laughs> next up. Yeah, I'm done. Oh no. Yeah, so Noel runs over um, to you lost brandishing another spiked ball and chain. He's gonna get a sixteen. Oh, it's a bit bad. Yeah, uh, a sixteen, and then less. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you sat there with. Like, oh, you're spinning your chain, right? There's yep. a sheet. Yep. Yeah, so just um, almost like uh, like kung fu practitioners with the with the dart. Yep. Uh, you're just like uh, knocking the ball and chain out of the air as they go to swing. It's ba-ting! knocking it to the side and knocking them off balance. So they go in with the second very telegraphed hit and ba-ting! it's knocked out of play again. Um, that I is me with those ping pong balls. <laughs> but the second one, I roll. Oh no, because I rolled this disadvantage. So I rolled an 11, 11. Blah, blah, blah. 17 to hit. 17. Wait, wait. Actually, let me turn the camera. Oh, 17 just hits. Okay. The Kai is next to me. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So there's eight, 11 points of. I'm going, uh, I'm going to use my <laughs> um, fighting style interception. <laughs> Um, actually... <laughs> <laughs> okay. To, um, mitigate some of that damage. I mean, if you can roll a one, then... <laughs> oh, is it, oh, is it just a one? No, no. It's, uh... So this isn't like a parry. It's it's uh, for negating damage, right? Yeah. It's 11, damage. 11 points... 11 points of damage. Um... So that's 8 plus... 11. So 11 points of negated to zero. Great. Yeah. Uh, so quickly flicking out your whip uh, to one side, it uh, snaps right at the extension and hits the ball and knocks it out of play again. Um, cool. That's his turn. Uh, Rhapsody. <laughs> um, so, so you guys are. Okay. Down here. Can you see? Down here. <laughs> but like, so we just see like zombies and other things? If you go around there, yeah, but you're at the back of the building right now. Okay. So you'll have to go around to the street. Um, Since I still have the covering over, I'll message to Lily. Uh, remember when you rode on Rose like a backpack. That's what it was. 
<laughs> uh, I believe I can get us closer. And I'll try and hold my action to uh, fly us up over the building, but to be out of, like, melee range of everyone because I don't want to go into any of that anytime soon. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to fly, not run around the alley? Yes. And, and I would like to cunning action. So essentially I'll get the full 50 movement if it has it with uh, Lily riding. But I'll wait there as like okay. a held I action. You would have it, but then you're um, doing the, the step of the wind to get there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, so you can get like right to the edge of the roof, or you can get just past it. <laughs> but then you have to drop. Probably to the edge of the roof. <laughs> I like to ask. Um, so but as you crest up over the top, um, you do like how how high is this uh, circle of death that is cast? Is it just on the ground? Because if, it, if it's completely obscured, then it has to have a height. It says 20 foot radius sphere. So I'll cast. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. So it also goes, I guess it's domed up to 20 yeah, feet yeah. as well. Yeah, it would have to be to get the full diameter to get all of those in. Yeah, it would just be so it's like 20 foot up. The so crest over this giant dome of blackness. Um, <laughs> So I imagine you're steering away from that. One of them waves at you. Mm. Oh, hello again, Rhapsody. Uh -huh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we talked about this. Hi, Hi buddy. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but I will, uh, yeah, do that. And if, uh, Lily comes along. Yep. We'll move on her turn. Sweet. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, so you're both on the edge of the rooftop there, uh, looking down. Um, do, 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 do. Where is he? Oh no, he's the one right in the middle. Okay, so he starts his turn in the 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 hunger of Hadar. Huzzah! No, You're Hadar. gonna take two two d six cold damage. Ha 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 ha! That's an eleven. And um, if you end your turn in it, you're gonna take two d six more damage. So you should probably stay right there. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> And, and it's difficult it. terrain. I didn't mention, so they're at half. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit! <laughs> Tee -hee. Yeah, do the do the damage again. <laughs> Six. 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 So yeah. total seventeen. And he's dead. No. no. But <laughs> but I won't describe anything because you don't see anything. Um but that is that is his turn. Um do, 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 Oh, it's the other one. Okay. I was mistaken. I'm so sorry. It's a, they get to make a dexterity saving throw to avoid the acid damage at the end of their turn. Sorry, that's my B. So that's a natural three. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Yeah. Okay. Great. 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 Wow, we've got like a party here. So many. That's all he can do? 
because of the cluster. Uh, Lily, you're up. I will break my bones in order to become a backpack on. <laughs> A literal, a literal backpack. A literal backpack, yes. It's so gross. Yeah, it is. I imagine you just holding your legs as they're up, like, like holding onto your knees. I want it to be the most disturbing sight possible. Like, yeah. So basically, your, your, your hips are like inverted so that your legs are coming up and your knees are at the front, and then you're just holding on to them as you're wrapping around, and then within. Uh, that's Raps all is wearing you that way. <laughs> yep. Exactly. So do I still get to do like like so this activates us moving. You are now getting off of him. So you have your own movement. Where am I? You are you see the purple the circle up on the top? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I do see it now. Yeah, cool. sorry, that's as far as I could get you in. Oh, you're good. Um, awesome. I'm sorry, my cat's attacking my foot. Um, I would like to put my mask on, gain some temporary hit points. Yes. So donning um, a white mask of the Raven Queen, it starts cracking, and half of it falls away to reveal the, the porcelain skull underneath it. Yes. So that's only going to be five temporary hit points, but it's better than nothing. That's how Lily smiles. Just half a mask. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so now that I'm like ethereal and extra creepy, I that was my bonus action. Mm -hmm. I would like to cast both of my Eldritch Blast beams at the big boy. Ooh, okay. Roll to attack. No. Really? Neither of them? Neither. Oh man. My highest roll was a ten. Plus. That was the highest roll. Was it? Oh, got it. <laughs> uh, and you have more health. Right, like I am like floating. Oh, and it's, like, it's when you hit like... someone. That's when you can force them to make. Exactly. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Good, good for me to keep track of the lot. So, are you, um, are you moving down the building, or are you staying up there? No, I am not <laughs> going down there. Are you still in backpack mode? No, I'm off. I'm off. I'm okay. Off. I'm, I'm, well, because I'm like, you know, slightly floating and ethereal in my hair. Oh, that's so. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have sung backpack yeah. earlier. Yes. Um, it was all, it was in everyone's head. I know. Backpack, backpack. Uh, all right. The Lily theme song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Great. <laughs> this zombie is starting his turn in in old old Bill Hader. Bill Hader. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, six points of damage. Six. Okay. That's it. They're not intelligent enough to know to go that way um okay but running up they're going to take a um another slam attack at lost and now we're at advantage uh because there's three of them crowding you so that cancels out with your defense right so straight roll yep. straight roll Three. Yes. Plus two. Yes. Mm, cool. Yeah. So, even out of the shadows, you just see these arms kind of come down, completely miss you, just like, and then go back into the darkness. 
they now have to make a dex save. Yes. That's an eight on the die. Ha ha, it's a fail. They only took three points of damage though on that roll, so. Okay, oh, not bad. All right. Um, Uh, so roll damage again for this other one that's starting its turn in there. Sorry, I was playing with my cat. Were you talking to me? I thought you were rolling. I thought you were rolling in your dice tray, and being... I was like, no. Do you he was see being what so I feel cute. With? She was being so cute, you don't understand. Okay, <laughs> take dick points of damage. Okay, <laughs> got it. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna turn and uh, attack Lost. Because why not, right? <sighs> 19 to hit. Yep, the hits. You take a whopping three points of bludgeoning damage mm -hmm. as these cold limbs just kind of slam against the side of your head before uh, being pulled back into the darkness. Um, that's its turn. We are back to the top of the round. Kaya, you are up. Did All he right. leave the area? Oh, he did not. No, so... That's a natural 18. Okay, fine. All right, so I'm going to focus my attack on the abomination again. <clears throat> and that's a D10, I don't need that. That is a 19. It's the rapier. 19 hits. And that is, ooh, nice. Uh, 13 points of piercing damage. And um, for my second attack, I'm going to turn and angle myself towards the abomination and I'm going to unleash my psychic breath weapon and try to get as many of those enemies in my 15 foot cone as possible. Yeah, you get this null, the abomination, and this zombie. Okay, that works. It's a deck save. All right, abomination first. That's 15 for him. It meets it. Eighteen for the null. The zombie is a natural eighteen as well. They all pass, but they take half damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Um, so that's eighteen. No, so nine points of psychic damage. So you see. Kaya just like turn and, and take this big breath and then after he stabs with the, the rapier um, <clears throat> he takes the inhale and then just like opens his mouth for a silent scream and you just see the waves of like psychic energy flowing out awesome wait which one's that Cool. 
All right, so that's one of your attacks. <laughs> Only nine more to go. Is there anything um, else you do? That, let's see, bonus action. Um, patient defense again. Okay. Got it. Uh, Rose, you are up. You are dive bombing. You can move another 60 feet and you will be at the ground. Yeah. Um, and then well, we're not going to the ground. We're going to that rooftop. Um, but yes. Which rooftop? Well, the same one. Yeah. That they're on. Um. Do we want to go to the opposite one, Adeline? Yeah, we'll go to the one closest to camera. Okay. Uh, so that's my action and my movement because we dashed. <clears throat> I'm yep. asking. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, then I will use my bonus action to... Um, I've never used this before, but I'm going to cast Spirit Shroud. And so what you will see is like... I just want to make sure that other people can see this and it wasn't just me. Um what I can tell other people can see the spirit shroud but you'll see like um, you'll see my mother and you'll see my father and you'll see other people that I've known through my life suddenly appear around me with like glinting golden light um, and basically they will be there like shield ready and like sword and ready to go um, and so with that um, Um, I can't actually interact with them. They're intangible, but um, until the spe spell ends, any attack that I make deals an additional 1d8 of extra damage, and I'm going to choose radiant damage for this um, okay. encounter. And then any creature that takes this damage cannot regain hit points until the start of its next turn, and any time they are within 10 feet, or any creature that's within, sorry, starts their turn within 10 feet of me um, has its spell speed reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Ooh, oh, okay. So I'm not close to anyone yet, but I will be in a minute. <laughs> Noted. Um, great. I would say you have two more rounds with the wings because you came oh, down double them? speed. Yep. Nope. You came down double speed, so you have two more rounds with the wings. Dope. Um, Cool. All right. Uh, Lost, you are up. All right. That uh, undead in front of me, if I was to boot them in the chest and shove them back into the circle, are they in the circle right now? Uh, yeah. Oh, they're already in the circle. Okay. Well, I am going to boot them back one space with a shove. Okay. Each one? No, just the one right next to me, right? There's one right next to me diagonally to me. There's that, technically uh, three of them on you right now. Three of them on me, aha. Uh -huh. The one that's uh, like to the northeast of me. Okay. From my, yeah. The guy that's uh, okay. that guy, yeah, yeah. I'm like inverting I'm the direction. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the Hulk Hogan boot. <laughs> the big boot right, off so the road. Right. 26. Athletics check. Uh, okay. So the zombie has to beat a 26. Yeah. <laughs> That's a 10. The big boots. I'm going to knock him back into the back and give, give me a little space right there. Yeah. So I imagine you kind of lean back against Kaya, who kind of just instinctually shoves you off. Kind of gives that rope bounce effect. <laughs> nice. Boots straight up. <laughs> Oh. 
and Shovel then attack. quiet. Awesome. And with my bonus action, I send up my shadow right there. Where right are you sending out your shadow? Right where I just booted the the zombie away. So you can't see through the it's it's complete blackness, right? Oh, okay. So am I in the, am I in the circle? That so that edge of the circle, it was literally like splitting one of the uh, some of the um, squares. Okay. That's how it was allowing you to interact on either side, but now you're gone. Got it. Okay. Uh, is there a space I can pop my shadow up somewhere near me? Um. <laughs> uh, there's the space that you just knocked the zombie out of. Yep. Yep. I want. I want that space. Oof. I'm gonna make you do operation and just like <laughs> stick your fingers in the tweezers. Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, I, and I'll do my second attack onto okay. the uh, onto the zombie. I guess the, the next closest zombie to me. Yep. So probably the one like right behind you. Okay. Cool. This one. Yeah. This, this is a zombie, right? I'm going yep. to use Great Weapon Master because it's a slow zombie. It's a quick zombie. But yeah. <laughs> 17 to hit. I think it's slow. Come on. 17 does hit, yes. It's hit, okay. Ooh, that's uh, 25 damage. 25? 25. With the extra plus 10 from Great Weapon, yeah. And you, you attacked with, um, with your chain? Yeah. So. You throw out the chain into that like space where you can see the zombie kind of fading in and out through the wall. You just yep. throw it out, like complete through the like sideways in an arc, and you feel a connection, and then it keeps going and comes back to you. Nice. And I will burn Unleashed Incarnation for one more attack. For the next closest zombie. Okay. With Great Weapon Master. For a 20 to hit. A 20 will hit, yeah. 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 <sighs> Two plus 10. 16 damage. Feel the chain return again. Yeah. Awesome. Are there any more zombies near me? Um. None that you would see. You can see this one and this one. Got it. Got it. Okay. And I'm still next to Kaya, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna take a step. If there's any space to step closer to Kaya, or like, just to... You're right next to him. You're like I'm right next to him. Okay, cool. Right to him. Cool. Yep. I'm good then. I'm good. Sweet. I give, I give, I give Kaya the, the coach pat in the butt saying, you know, you're doing good. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, nope. Cool. All right. So yeah, the the abomination is gonna leave, seeing these like uh, uh, like flaming skull beams coming towards him from the rooftop. He's going to back away. Uh, both of you get attacks of opportunity if you'd like to take them. Yes. Yep, I will. As his eyes scan to the rooftop. What was that? 19. 19, 19 hits. I'm going to take a regular attack, not a great weapon. Oh, Ooh, I crit. I should have rolled a great weapon attack. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Damn it. Okay. 
Oh, nice. Max damage. Six. So, <clears throat> max dice roll, then roll Eight again, damage. then add fire. 18 damage. What? 18? 18? Yep. And nice. add 13. Gee, all right. 18 and I can make him stop moving with <gasps> that. I Ooh. He doesn't move. So basically, I hit him with the chain and it kind of wraps around him and he can't move because of Sentinel. Okay, so what he's going to do is use his reaction to parry. Ooh. So, wait, what? No, what's he, what's your total? So he would try to parry it anyway. Oh, yeah, my total with the crit is 28. 28. He can't even, he can't bring it down that much. No. So, yeah, so he would go to parry, and in that kind of movement, uh, the the chain wraps around his leg and kind of pulls him, stops him from moving as he turns. <laughs> Fine, it's you. Oh shit! And <laughs> he starts spinning the glaive and comes in for an attack against oh, no. you. So his movement was nullified. Uh, that is, yeah, 18 to hit. That hit. Mm -hmm. Second one is... It's an 11. Um, but that first one connects for... I'm going to, with it, my whip, and I'm going to try to grab that glaive as hard as I can and pull it and just nullify some of that. I don't know how much it's going to be, but it's probably going to be a lot. It's uh, 10 points. I rolled low. Okay. That's ten points for me. I rolled a five plus five. <laughs> I rolled a five plus five, so cool. Oh, um, no, it's actually actually no, it, it's your proficiency bonus. Oh five plus three, eight. Sorry. Yeah. Five plus three is eight. Yep. So two carryover. Yep. Yep. Uh but pulling the glaive slightly, he tears it back, rears up on his back legs, and with his bonus action he's gonna take two swipes with his front claws. That is 17 hits and 21. Yep. Six plus. Uh, so that's 11 points and 12 points of slashing damage. I rolled Got high it. on those ones. So 23 total? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, plus the two from the glaive that went yep. through. Yep. So yeah, you got his attention. Um, <laughs> that other zombie is just going to kind of wander over. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's nothing he can do. That's his turn. Adeline, you are up. Cool, 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 cool. Um, she's staying focused on that big area, but she is going to turn her attention to this big nasty guy. Um, and I need him to make an intelligence saving throw. Oh. Jeez, that's a, yeah, that's four. Oh, that's a fail. So Tasha's mind whip, um, I, you're 
Wait, tell me my okay. Three D six, but then also all of the other fun stuff. Um, you can't take a reaction till the end of your next turn, and it must choose whether it gets a move action or bonus action. You only get one. I already used my reaction, so. Mm. Well. <laughs> Ooh! How about you take? Wait. Okay. Six to six is twelve. Sixteen points of damage. Sixteen. Sixteen. Nice. And, nope. and then his next his next turn, he only gets an action or a bonus. Um, yep. Got or it. move. So you can't even move at one of those things. Okay. It's one of the three. Fine, he's got plenty of targets in front of him. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. How does it look? You've not cast this before. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I, you just see her, like, staring very intently. Um, and kind of like this, like, uh, to the point where like this black ooze almost that like is dappled with stars kind of like seeps out of her like nose and into her mouth a little bit. And she just like is concentrating really hard and it's just like all mental and they just like feel it um, like in their brain. And I think their head kind of snaps back as they feel it take effect. Yeah, great. Exactly what you see. Um... Yeah, so he is racked in that position right now. Um, still those teal eyes, which you see uh, Adeline, and it kind of like Ooh. stops the the breath uh, in your chest for a moment. Like you get half a breath and it just stops before it continues. Um, oh, I know. Okay. Do, do, do. All right. So, the orange knoll is going to, uh, yeah, he's going to take a swipe at, um, a lost again. Uh, that's a two. And an eight. Jeez, I need to get rid of that die. Um, the highest one there was a... 14 to hit. So those don't connect. Um. <clears throat> Which then triggers the green knoll is going to uh, attempt to grapple Kaya. Okay. Now... I have uh, patient defense. Do they have disadvantage on the grapple attempt? Oh, I don't know because this is just an athletics check. Oh, okay. So I think it only works for dex dex things or attacks. Yep. Yes. So I will roll okay. first. I'll tell you what to be. Twenty-four. I oh my 19. god. Roll a 19. I can't beat that even with a natural 20. This is an athletics check, right? Yep. Wait a minute. Is there something I can do? No. There's nothing I can do, I don't think. All right. I'm grappled. Okay, and he is going to start to pull you away. So moving at half speed. He basically just gets underhooks underneath your arms, which prevents you from using your whip and just starts raking you backwards, just like just muscling you back um, and pulls you away from your brother at arms. Um, that is, yeah, that's his turn. 
Um, do, 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 do. Rhapsody, you are up. Uh, seeing this, uh, Rhapsody will fly, swoop down, fly off the roof, and land behind that knoll. And oh, as served for you when I was your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have disadvantage? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and as they're pulling Kaya away, I'm just going to take my dagger and slide it backwards so they stab themselves, essentially. I'm just going to let him walk onto it. Just stand there like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh no! Oh no. Tid. Realizing I should probably look, uh, I'll turn around and just stab him. <laughs> Oh no, this was the rubber dagger as it just does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15 to hit. Uh, that does not hit. Oh, but wait. wait. Yes, it I does. I have a thing. Yes, it does. Huh? It oh, does it does? Hit. does it. Oh, it's the no. Okay. Um,. So seven points of damage there, and uh, since I followed through uh, with the attack, I'm going to follow the blade and um, essentially activate sneak attack since Kaya's technically within um, five feet of them. Oh, it's only a d6. I'm a baby rogue. <laughs> uh, four more damage to that, and then clone is action. Uh, bonus action. I will flurry of blows, and essentially the. The dagger will still be in my hand, but I will use my other hand to kind of hit like muscle clusters in the Knoll's yeah, like, anatomy. Like nerve clusters, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's. Those are the monk dice. Okay. Eleven? I hate this. To hit? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> okay, I got a thing. I'm gonna use... Uh... You get to use the thing, guys. Hey! <laughs> um... How much does it increase it by? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Key fueled attack. Is that it? No. Focused aim. Is that it? I have too many monk things. <laughs> uh. Basically, I'm going to use a key point to increase... I'm going to use two key points to increase the... to hit by four. So... Which hits. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Yes, the thing. <laughs> nice. Long story short. That's a good um, thing. And then that will be... Uh, I haven't flurry of blows in a long time. Four. Seven bludgeoning and then the second will be okay that's better 21 to hit nice okay another Which seven one? bludgeoning okay. and i'm gonna 
stunning strike, so they have to make a DC con <laughs> save. Jesus. Uh, okay. Uh, a 15 or higher. I do not have this offhand. Okay. That is a 13. Yes! They are stunned! Woohoo! <laughs> That's the first. I don't know. I, I feel like mine's never land. But they are stunned yeah. until um, the end of my next turn. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, so with him pulling back, you fly down, um, sinking the blade in up under his ribs. It starts bleeding profusely. And then just finding those nerve clusters, it starts. He starts to slow down, and you slam into one in the, the side of his neck, which causes him to just. You just watch as all of his muscles just start to stiffen up, as he's unable to keep moving. Um, awesome. Is that it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I use so much key. <laughs> and, and, you, and you hear in your in your mind, oh my, oh my god, thank you so much. Hey, can you roll uh, some I, Hada damage for me? Hada. Yeah! Hada. Hada. Take nine points of damage. Hada. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He wouldn't be smart enough to know that the null stun so kind of runs to the uh, assailant to make a slam attack. Ooh, with a natural 19 on the die, 21 to hit. Rhapsody. Yes, okay. You take a whopping three points of bludgeoning damage <laughs> as it idles over towards you and launches its limbs loosely and they <laughs> hit you in the side of the head. Um, that is its turn. Um, Lily, you are up. All right. I'm going to go with my tried and true level three dissonant whispers on the big boy. All right. Um, wisdom save. Yes, sir. All right. I swear to God, Jay, if you rolled high. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is, uh, with a negative one, that makes it nine. Nice. <laughs> uh, so let me... It's 5d6, plus it's scared of me, you know. Twenty-one psychic damage. Ooh. Um, as to move away from me. How far does it have to move? It says it's full movement. Immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows. He doesn't have a reaction. He'd already used his reaction to parry, and even if it would have been taken away by. Oh. Do you want to retcon that? No. That's okay. I was just asking because that was like a pretty big part of like the the idea. Well, I mean, it's mostly the damage I care about. <laughs> it was a lot of damage. on his next turn, he has to run. Um. 
bonus action. I cannot. What's happening here? Who's next to it? <laughs> That's a big cluster. Um, is who's next, where's next lost? To the abomination lost is um, lost is right here. There's a normal mm -hmm. here. Okay. Um, I would like to do bonus action inspire lost with uh, some of his dead loved ones. Do you have any dead loved ones? I do have dead loved ones. Who do you see? That's what I was wondering, honestly. Um, I see like, like my brother, but in in the shadow shadow fell form, which is like almost looks like me, but he's desiccated looking like all the water has been like you know just drained out of him so it's like it's like almost like a, a husk um and yeah so and, and he looks he looks just like me almost and candidly just like me. amazing so you see him appear to one side of you put one hand on your shoulder and then wrap a chain around his forearm, uh, sort of readying himself next to you. So you take inspiration. Yeah. 1d8. Yeah, nice. 1d8. Ooh. Ability check, attack, roll, or saving throw. Um, and that's my turn. I'm going to stay where I'm at. Awesome. Um, next up. Nope. Uh, yeah, roll me some Bill Hader. Oh, take six points of damage. Six points. Did that? Did that other one end its turn inside as well? The one that is no longer on the map. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, okay. I see. No, oh, okay. no one sees anything. You just hear the whispering and the <gasps> sounds coming from there. That's that's all. I get like a little um, XP boost. I'm like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Next to you. Um, okay. Uh, he's going to. Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Aw, <laughs> oh, Beans, was that the and last he can, one in he there? Can get, he can get that far. He just kind of wanders out, like, not knowing what any what is happening. <laughs> what year um, is it? He wanders out and everyone's like, ah! Happening, and he's like, oh, shit! Like, <laughs> it wasn't like this when I went in. Um, cool. And with that, the round is coming to a close, and that is where we are going to no! end tonight. I knew it was happening. Uh, no, I want to do more. <laughs> I was, I was looking at it. I was looking at it. I was like, ah, oh, these are long rounds. Long rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think they're getting shorter. So many of the zombies are hard hard out right off the map. Hard hard out. Yeah. <laughs> Um thank you so much uh for being there and viewing the craziness that we do. Um thank you so much for sticking with us through all of this. This was really, really fun. Um and I took a long time building that map, so I'm glad you guys liked it. Uh hey guys, thanks for all of the subs. And all of the all of the everything, uh, the follows, the raids, everything. Uh, there was there was so much to keep up with that I couldn't always like type say thank you. Um, but uh, yes, we're gonna we're gonna find someone to raid. Uh, we're gonna be back on Monday for Legends of Shargal, DM by uh, our very own pretty DM Diane DiCarlo, uh, who plays Lily. 
Uh, so she'll be running the purple rain through the next. Uh... It's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> um, so yeah, so come in uh, for that one uh, at same time, six p.m. PST. Um, have we found someone to raid? Yeah, let's go. Uh, our friend Distal's place. Okay. Yeah. Let's jump in on them. So uh, make sure you stay for the raid, get those extra flex points that then you can spend on the players next time, uh, which could influence the entire game. Um, so make sure you're in for that. Monday for Legends. No, no, not next Friday, right? We're no, away we're next Friday. Friday. We are off next Friday. Um, so be here for Legends to get your dose of swole d and Miss, um, no, that no, no, no. Retcon, retcon. Don't like that. Don't like that. <laughs> um, I, I'm just gonna say goodbye. Thank you for starting your weekend off the right way with the fables of Galia. Have an awesome weekend. Love to everyone. Bye. Bye.